I bring it up because I recently got a three hundred dollar refund for what happened at a hotel I recently Ooh, stayed at. Ooh, it must have been bad. I'm yeah, not did calling. You go all Karen on him. I uh, know. You know, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. You know that's that's not me. I'm the one that apologizes first before and says I says it's not your fault. We I, realize and this. I, and I said all those. Things of course too. you did. Of yeah, course you did. You know, I do not like. We that. know you. Yeah, I try to be nice about it. But I feel like it always works out better for me yes. when you go into it with a calm demeanor. Either way, not calling out any hotels or chains in this moment because. I got the $300 refund, so it's all good now. Um, so uh, within the last couple months, my wife went on a, a little mini trip, and the hotel we stayed at had very dirty floors, and this is hardwood floors. And this is something I would not have expected because, you know, we did pay $300 for the hotel room. Not that we're bougie like that. More no, so because sometimes you spend it. Uh, more so because the rooms in that area, they're all booked. There's a big event going on that weekend. But we're like, you know, we are committed to doing something in North Carolina this weekend. <laughs> so My we dad did would it. have still found a way to find the $30 yeah, motel. No, no, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And it would have been, John Lord totally it been oh, yeah. two hours away. Yeah. Uh, either way. <laughs> So uh, it was so dirty, like we were barely in the room because we were experiencing the city that day. That night we get to the hotel, uh, 30 minutes in, I was sitting at on the chair with my, my legs raised and Sarah's like, oh my God, my wife Sarah was like, oh my God, your socks. What do you mean my socks? I've been walking around, I didn't even notice. Yeah. And I looked down and my socks looked like I've been walking around on charcoal. Ew. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Ew. It was sneaky disgusting. Well, and you have a little girl and who's I, like oh, right there by I the know. floor. And her little sleeper got dirty too. Oh, no. So it was so <laughs> gross. So we're like tiptoeing around the rest of the day the next morning. I bet. This is, this is not our place. So the next morning, I'm like, okay, not that I'm petty like this, but that moment I'm like, I want to prove a point. I took my socks to the hotel desk as I- <laughs> Hey, not like mm. he's petty, you know, remember this that. This is not mm. petty. He's mm. just uh, providing evidence. I would never no, no, no. do this. Oh, anyway, I'm, no, trying to, I would. I'm trying to prove a point. So well, I, take, petty too. I take my dirty socks and I take it to the hotel staff. Yeah, you did. And their- Don't empower them. Facial, I'm empowering him. Thank you, Sarah. Their facial reactions are like, oh my God. See, they need to know. And the housekeeper happened to be standing there and she was like, oh my God, I am so- so sorry. We promised we try to clean the rooms. And then it was, and I get it, you know, limited staff, only so many housekeepers yada, for how yada, busy yada. they were. And I'm like, okay, listen, I have a toddler, all these things. Like, wait, there's a lot of places to stay. I did the whole spiel. <laughs> I chose this place. And I chose this one and here's because my I had expectations. Dirty socks. Here's the crazy thing in all this for me. Two things that stood out. In that moment, the housekeeper goes, can I have your socks? I'm like, uh, sure. I guess I didn't know what she was gonna do with the socks until a couple hours later when I'm about to leave. We're outside, and I could hear some housekeepers nearby um, in conversation. And, uh, and the only thing I heard was the housekeeper said, and then she showed us his socks. Oh, I'm like, oh, those are my socks that <laughs> the <their laughs> housekeeper <laughs> showed them. How'd that make you feel? Did you feel powerful? Did like, you feel mm, exposed? Yeah, That's yeah right. I felt so exposed They'd with my dirty meeting. socks. And then the uh, a couple of days later, of course, I got the refund. The manager called and apologized, Good. and I got the refund. I'm, I'm like, you know, nobody should be walking around on hardwood floors, right? Like that. But this is where I my level of petty came out, Brian, because I did have another idea. Um, mm -hmm. This is I will call myself, and I think I told you this idea. I, I honestly, I felt like I missed a moment of going viral. This is where Team Petty Kyle came out. Okay, this may go beyond what this I would is, do. This Kyle is, doesn't just want the refund. He wants the social exposure. My wife said, do not do this. <gasps> and uh, because I asked, I was like, I wanted to go to a nearby CVS and buy a Swiffer. I wanted to buy a Swiffer wet jet, buy some Swiffer pads. And I wanted to clean our bedroom and video all of it and see how many pads that I would go through uh, to prove a point. And um, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. Now that's petty. Yeah, uh, that is petty. Now that's petty. And this is where my heart went. I'm like, this is not me. You're but mad. I, but I wanted to do it. This I is wanted, not me. I wanted to go yes, all Swift. I wanted to go all Swift or Wet Jet on this hotel that I stayed at. My curiosity, though, would like to see how dirty those pads oh, got. exactly. I wanted to see how many uh, uh, pads that yeah. I would have gone through. And I was telling somebody a story a couple days ago. And they're like, if you had done that. 
If you had posted that video, yes, it would have had probably like however many views, but Best Western would have given, or now no, I just screwed up the hotel. Can I, should I hit the dump button? No, nah, no, no, nah, no, no. They, I wasn't going to say the hotel. Well, the, the thing is, is Do not they say came where the correct. hotel is. I'm not no. going to, but they okay. came correct. They gave you your <laughs> refund, but he's like, he really was trying not no, to. See, I did not want to say the hotel. Well, you name. did anyway. Go ahead. No, you might as well own yeah, it no. now if you're going to be, you know, Prince Petty. Anyway, Call Prince Petty over is. here. I was going to go all Swiffer, Wet Jet, and all those things, but I didn't. Sarah's like, do not, do not do that. Good. That's a step too far. It is a step. I, I realized that in and that I'm moment. I'm glad you stopped yourself. But that's just how my brain works. I'm like, this will be hilarious, and I'm thinking of content for our social media pages. Oh lord. And uh, that's why it's petty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, is it for me or is it for them? Yeah, it's for me. Exactly. And Sarah's like, don't do that. Either Good way. Call, Sarah. What was the hotel stay, travel experience uh, to that level that you will always remember? 919 860 1015. But like I said, good news. I got the refund. Uh, it was all good and on that front. Um, but the greatest but you line. Lost a pair of socks, man. And then she showed us his socks. <laughs> <laughs> that were my socks.